Hello and welcome to Lighten Up. I'm so excited to be here today with Suzanne Goulet. Suzanne is coming to us from Hawaii. She's a distance energy healer, a life coach, and spiritual mentor. Thanks so much for joining us today, Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. You're the one I need to thank because this is so exciting to connect with you and to be part of your show and to meet your people. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yes. And Suzanne is the CEO and founder of Spirit Source Connect. What inspired you to come up with such a beautiful name? Oh, well, thank you. You know, I wanted to create a space where people could come and be supported to be able to strengthen their connection with Source. And, you know, like anything we create, anyone creates, we we just reach out and we ask, like, what should this be? What should this be? And the answers come. And so that's what it was, you know, that I wanted to strengthen people's ability to connect to source, to stay up there. You know, the world challenges us and we want to stay up and above those challenges, continue to receive our inspiration and our guidance with everything we need in our lives. And so that just came to me. And speaking of that, Suzanne, I like to do interactive practices on the show. So because we're going to be talking about connecting with source, I'd like to invite you and the audience members to engage in a brief breathing practice so that we can become very present for this episode today. So we're just Excellent. going to start with a little breathing. And so just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Count for five in. Hold it and exhale for five. Again. And exhale. And one more time. And exhale. And just be very present with us for this very special episode. And I'd really like to start, Suzanne, with a better understanding of how you became connected to source in your life? Well, it's an interesting question, Suzanne. First of all, thank you for that breathing exercise because what a quick and easy way to just get centered and connected and for the two of us to be connected. So this is going to be an awesome half hour we're going to spend together because spirit is with us and I can feel it. So to answer your question, you know, as far back as I can remember, I remember um, being able to see people's emotions, like my mother, I was able to see when she was happy, when she was feeling loving, when she was stressed out, when she was worried. And I think, it were, I think that is a spiritual connection when you can connect with other people. And then there was, you know, every Sunday at church, um, where it was, a, it was a huge church in New England and lots of people there and the stained glass windows and the incense, it was all very inspiring to me. And I spent a lot of time as a child daydreaming is what it's called, but I think I was really still connected to the other side mm -hmm. and just could spend hours staring up at the clouds or at the ceiling and dream about angels. And so this is when I was really small. And I think the next level of that came in keeping a diary and then being able to ask spirit questions. At the time, you know, I was being raised Catholic and who I connected with the most was Mother Mary. So I would ask her questions and I started receiving answers that were so loving and so kind. You know, this really stayed with you um, throughout your life. So um, as you became a teenager and then an adult, you know, were you still feeling very connected to spirit? 
Yes and no, because we're learning how to be in the world, right? And there's so much to learn about being in the world. And there's high school and all of that, you know, you know, middle school and hormones and, you know, who you're attracted to. Like, there's so much about the world that just draws you in. But I think what I can speak to that a lot of your audience might um, relate to is being an empath. And you were probably an empath, you know, just being sensitive to other people's emotions, sensitive to your environment, sensitive to light and to sound. And that never left. And I think that's what led me to being an artist and going to art school and studying the higher creativity in various, you know, various uh, modes of study, music and theater and eventually filmmaking as a way of expressing all that's going on inside. Because when you're an empath or a highly sensitive, you're, you're filtering so much data coming into you and having a mode of expression is so important. It's so important. And I think I think this is the way spirit moves through us is we receive all of this data around us and expressing it outward in our own unique way is really our, our job in life. It's, it's what you're, you're, you're doing right now. It's, um, it's what you're doing right now in the expression of your TV show of calling on people to interview, to, uh, Everything that you're learning, you're expressing it outward again, aren't you? Yes, and I truly believe that creative expression is our divine essence. We are, you know, a child of the creative source, and as such, we are creators, you know? And when we're creating, I think we are really tapping into our highest self and creating from our highest potential. You know, so certainly, you know, performing arts and any type of creative expression through media, you know, would be an expression of our divine self. Yes. You know, the, the, I'm a student of A Course in Miracles, and the Course set has a, has a saying, and it's that we are here to create the good, the beautiful, and the holy. And that's why we're here. So whether you're a mathematician or you're a scientist or you're a bank teller or you're a school teacher, when you're creating the good and the beautiful and the holy, you are an expression of source and you're con connecting to it much more deeply as well. It's how we can create heaven on earth for ourselves, in my opinion. So beautifully said, and I'm also a student of A Course in Miracles, and, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of sentences and beautiful sayings in there, but I wrote that exact one down on my vision board, Suzanne. You're kidding. I, I am not kidding. <laughs> I wrote it across the top because that just spoke to me in such a big way. And it's so That's crazy that I picked up on that. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you did, and this way we can share it with our audience so that it can be inspirational for them as well. Thank you. Yes, because, you know, Suzanne, we can forget sometimes why we're here. We can forget, you know, like you're, you're having to run errands and you're standing in line at the Target and someone's irritating you and you've got seven more things to do and you've only done two of them and it's getting late and, and you come home and you're wiped out and you just want to you know, stack on the couch, but there's more things that, you know, we forget why we're here. So for your, for everyone to remember, you know, having that up on your wall, I am here to create the good, the beautiful and the holy just reminds you. And it creates a shift. You know, I talk about spirituality in my book, Wake Up, um, as practical spirituality, you know, because it's just going out and applying it to your everyday life and, you know, consciously shifting from those lower energies or those chaotic thoughts mm -hmm. in a moment by just saying, you know, uh, I redirect my mind to higher thoughts and words and actions in this moment you know and it does it creates a shift in your perception completely 
That's very interesting that you say that, Suzanne, because <laughs> my lesson in the course today <laughs> is my mind is part of God's. I am very holy. Mm. You know, and I've, it's exactly what you're saying is for us to remember. So I've done the course like four or five times now in the last 19 years. And I still, I come across, I'm doing it again and everything is new again. So, so today and in this interview and you mentioning, you know, this shift that's created, it's available to us at any time. And so another little reminder today that your mind is part of God's and that you are very holy. Yes. And just living in that higher state of awareness to be able to catch yourself, you know, when you are suddenly, you know, feeling impatient or, you know, annoyed or frustrated or anger arises, just notice it and redirect it and just, you know, think loving thoughts of kindness and patience and compassion and understanding for yes. yourself as well, for yourself and others. Yes, that's very wise. That's very wise, Suzanne. Just noticing it, recognizing it and say, you know, ask yourself, do I really want to go down that path? Do I really want to, you know, because you can see that if, you know, if someone's annoying you that you're standing in line or you're driving in the car, you could take that thread of annoyance and turn it into anger, turn it into resentment, and pretty soon you're in this steaming mood. Or just nip it in the bud and say, you know what, I'm not going there. I'm just not going there. And repeat one of your affirmations or your mantras or my mind is part of God's, you know, and don't go there. Yes, and gratitude. And I notice on your website, you have the gratitude prayer. And I know when I shift into gratitude, that changes my whole perception. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm, I'm going to be writing, um, um, I started writing a new course, a new free uh, downloadable on my site for everyone who comes over there that's going to be 10 things you can do in your meditation practice. Because some people, once they learn to meditate with guided meditations, then, you know, the next step really is to sit in silence for 15 minutes or 30 minutes when you can. <clears throat> and some people have asked me, well, what do I do in there? And I, you know, oh my God, I came up with a hundred things, but I'm going to keep it to 10. <laughs> and one of them was to sit in gratitude. It's amazing how quickly things shift, especially when you're feeling frustrated that your world isn't going like you planned it to or that you wanted it to. It's time to just stop and start counting all of the things that you're grateful for. Right. And sometimes I start with the lowest denominator, right? right? Because you might in the moment think, well, what do I have to be grateful for? This went wrong, that went wrong. And you just stop and say, okay, I have all my limbs. I right. can talk and I can talk and I can breathe. Then you might yeah. move into, I have shelter, I have transportation, I have people who love me, you know? And you can go on and on and realize how much the universe is actually supporting you in so many ways. Everything around you is an expression of the universe helping you, loving you, supporting you. That is so wonderful, Suzanne. That just made me feel so good. It just connected with my heart right then and there. <laughs> And Suzanne does offer so many transformational programs that are empowering and enlightening and can connect you to your source, the source within you that is your highest self. So when we come back from break, we're going to talk more about her programs and her services and her products. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. Is it okay if I offer a gift to your audience? Oh, please do. <clears throat> so you had the opportunity uh, with me the other day to experience an energy scan, right? 
Yes, I did. Yes. So what I'd like to offer to anyone who wants to experiment or try something new and start working with me is that I'm going to give anyone in your listenership 20% off of an energy scan. And what an energy scan is when I connect with spirit that connects with your soul and have a look at what's going on in your chakra system. So we'll do a reading. It's about 20 minutes to half hour. And we'll go through each one of your chakras. And what your chakras are holding really is your potentials. And if there's anything that you're holding that needs to be healed and released. And so once they experience that, then they're free to decide if they want to move forward with a healing session or work with me further. And it's, um, it's pretty good information. Do you think? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, she went, you know, chakra by chakra to really assess, you know, whether it was open or whether there was blockages and maybe what the root of the blockages were so she could clear them. Yes, I thought it was fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so they can contact me through my site and just say I'm part of Suzanne Ross's show and I want to have 20% off of an energy scan and I'll make sure they get that. Oh, thank you for your generosity. My pleasure. Hello and welcome back to Lighten Up. I am here with Suzanne Goulet, who is a divine energy healer, a life coach and a spiritual mentor. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome back. Hello, Suzanne. Two Suzannes today for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> How much fun is that? <laughs> I know. It's, pretty, it's like a mirror, right? It's a mirror. <laughs> yes. And I love your website, Suzanne. Oh, my goodness. It is so colorful and so comprehensive. I mean, it is just a plethora of inspiration and transformation. So thank you so much for creating such a beautiful site for your fans to visit. Thank you, Suzanne, for saying that. You know, I just can't help it. I have so many creative ideas coming through me of like what I want to do next and what I want to offer next. And, and so that website's probably been around for seven years and I'm always presenting new things. And I love doing the graphics myself because I've always been an artist and it's like happens in the moment when I'm doing that. And I hope there's a clear pathway for visitors to see, you know, what they want to do, what they can find. And there's a ton of free stuff, which I've been told you can't make all of this free anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you're doing some upgrades and enhancements going forward. Um, but, you know, as it is right now, I can see that people can participate and connect with you in so many ways. And one of them is what you call energetic sessions. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and what energetic healing really is? Okay, that's a really awesome question, Suzanne. Thank you. I think probably most of your audience has heard of energetic healing, and it's just kind of a catch-all phrase for something that's really much bigger. And, you know, we're always emitting energy, right? And we are energy. So you and I have this exchange of energy, even though, you know, I'm in Hawaii and you're in Arizona, but it doesn't matter. Space and time don't really exist. There's an exchange of energy going on. And so because I'm a student of A Course in Miracles, The Course in Miracles really is a, a manual for how to extend a miracle to another person. And Christ is the teacher of the course. So it's Christ consciousness that we're using. And of course, the the little self, the ego says, well, I can't do miracles. Like, who am I? I'm just this little person, you know, and I, you know, I can't walk on water and do all of these things. But Christ is in charge of these healing sessions. And I first started practicing them in 1998 when I was getting to the place in the course where it just pushed you to go out and extend a miracle to your brother and I, you know, solicited some friends and like, come over to my house and sit in this chair. We're going to do this thing. And 
I had other work I was doing and I would just continue to do these. And little by little, Suzanne, I saw every single person that received what, what's called a holy instant, their lives would transform, their lives would bloom. And so <clears throat> there's a lot of different kinds of energy healers out there. And I, I'm not sure what they're doing, and I think it's all good. It's all good. I can only speak to what, what I'm doing, and that is allowing Holy Spirit to connect us and for the Christ energy to come and plant a seed of light into someone's consciousness. And that seed of light will unfold according to how fertile the soil is inside of the person. And it will nourish the soil until the person is ready to really bloom and unfold. So sometimes we have resistance to receiving light. We can subconsciously be actually afraid, afraid of light. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't matter because the seed is planted, the light will bloom, all darkness is dissolved. And I've just seen people transform over and over and over. And sometimes it can happen in a matter of hours that illnesses disappear. Um, sometimes their uh, mental illnesses like PTSD or other challenges that will take weeks or sometimes months to disappear. But I have seen this over and over and I know that there's a higher power in charge and I know that if I have this ability, then I have to make this my life's work. And so that's, that's what you see under the sessions portion of my website. And now that I'm filled more and you're filled more, then we can help lift everything up. And this is where our work in the world becomes so important. So the second part of this is that if you already have done a lot of healing, for yourself, and it's time now to have a steady practice of continuing to infuse the light and being connected to the source. I have a great free program that people can sign up for, and it's called Three Keys to a Greater Connection with Source. And it's just very gently and enthusiastically going to be inspiring you to have simple daily practices that keep you in the flow, keep you connected so so people will learn how to stay connected if they download that course it's free it's going to be a paid course in the future because there's a lot of content there and it'll become an ebook and a digital download so that's free for all of your listeners right now but take advantage of that soon because it may not yeah. be free for long so i know it's just a matter of my not having enough time to like get it all packaged up i keep saying oh i gotta do that i gotta do that <laughs> yes and another thing that she has on her website are divine energetic downloads these are audio downloads that sound very inspirational and transformational yes so can, do you want to hear what those are? Do you want me to sure. tell you a little bit? Okay. <clears throat> so you know how I told you before that I've always been channeling with spirit in my journals, and it was a very private thing. I, I never dared share with anyone that I was having conversations with, you know, spirit, because they would just think you're in that case or something. But it was always very natural to me. And I had all of these, quote, unquote, very professional kind of careers, you know, in real estate and in the film business. And then at home, I was connecting with spirit and getting all of this amazing content. And so finally, it came time that spirit was kicking me out of my little private conversation saying, you have to share this with other people, you have to. And so it was a time when my whole real estate career was being dissolved during the the downturn in 2008 with everything globally started to shift and change. And I collected um, some people in my living room for a meditation, free meditation Thursday night, you know, meditation group. And what started happening was the combination of that channeling and the holy instant that comes from my studies with A Course in Miracles 
So it was a combination of that planting of the seed of light, that energy, plus it started to become accompanied by words to help the participants understand what they were receiving. And I did these for free for like nine months because it took me that long to be able to manage the energy and speak at the same time. It was so overwhelming. And now I'm well practiced enough and started getting it out of my living room and online so there could be more participants. And those are what became the global energetic downloads. Mm. I'm no, probably download some for myself. <laughs> that was wonderful. Yes, and you listen to them, and it's more than a meditation CD. Like you can listen to them over and over, and you always hear something different. It's multi layered, and I'm convinced that you know there's change going on at a cellular level for people. It's like it's like getting an energetic healing session. If, if you, if you want to do it by just dipping your toe, you can get one of these CDs and listen to that and receive that miracle of light right in the privacy of your home. So I'm quite excited about that. I'm going to be creating these transformation kits where they come in a box with a gemstone and essential oil and some Oracle cards. That's my next creative project. Oh my goodness. That will be so beautiful. Well, how comprehensive. Yeah. Yes. Cause you do need multiple tools. I know for myself, you know, it's like the oils and the crystals and, you know, my shrine with my pictures of my deities and my books and my beads. <laughs> right. I mean, and it's just whatever I'm inspired to really use uh, as a tool for connecting that day. But um, yeah, I, I really appreciate how you're putting together multiple ways to connect with source, Suzanne. And thank you for sharing all of your insight today. It's all so meaningful and powerful and you're just such a beautiful spirit, Suzanne. Thank you so much, Suzanne. I, this has just been so delightful. I hope you invite me back. I hope to meet some of your people. It's an, a marvelous thing that you're doing. And I, I encourage you and I lift you forward and all expansion to you. Oh, thank you so much. And to you too. And thank you all so much for joining us for this special episode of Lighten Up. And remember, live well, love life.